hello guys welcome back to a new video how are you today me for me i'm good i'm here i just want to present to you the last bit of the training the academic writing training that's how we are going to see if you are learning something please down below ask some questions reach me via my social handles my whatsapp my instagram they'll be attached down there so what you do please please first of all hit the subscribe button if you're a new member if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much i'm so humbled to have you in my channel what we do today we are going to learn something else remember after we have written we all always do research on our papers so at times you would be using something like google or other materials remember you can find yourself copy pasting but we don't encourage copy pasting so it's good to read understand and write so because we want to see if you copy pasted or something and we want to be sure that you didn't copy paste and your work have zero plagiarism or at least one or two plagiarism maybe because of references what we do we have a tool to check on plagiarism and that tool is that that time turning tin so turning tin is used to always check on plagiarism so what you do as i told you about grammarly you purchase turning tin logins because purchasing an account is way a bit expensive so what you do you purchase logins from a vendor it goes for around 300 bob 200 bob 500 bob depending on whoever is selling to you so what we do today we are going to see how you use turning to check on plagiarism using your smartphone remember we are doing everything about using our smartphone so we are going to learn about how to check plagiarism on use not on using turning for those who doesn't know what is plagiarism plagiarism nile kujirudia maybe something is written on google we will wonder when to get exactly what is written on google and we don't want that in academic writing you have to do your own work your own personal work if you have to use google to research use google read and paraphrase but don't read and copy paste so today we are going to look on how to use turning thing to check plagiarism it's pretty easy we are going to use our mobile phone so keep tuned please guys he give this video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button so that you can be able to see my more videos and remember to turn the post notification bell on so that whenever you have a new video you'll be the first one to get notified share my videos to your status to your friends so that you can have many many subscribers and get that morale to keep on posting so guys let's get this Okay, for turning tin two, we are going to use Chrome browser. This is how you use Chrome browser. Let's go to add button. Add button. We come and search turning tin login. Turning tin login. We use this, the first one. Yes. Then we are going to use this one. This is where we paste our email. And then our password. I've done that so that I can be able to see the password. Zero eight. I'm entering the details. Three six six eight six five. Okay, so this is what we do. Let me just delete this. Just delete this. That and login. Uh huh. Do you know what's wrong? Or I did something wrong. Let me get back and copy paste.
you enter your email and password then you log in You enter your email and then you paste your password. Then we log in. Then we log in. Log in. Good. That way. Then you come here. You will be able to see classes. You'll be able to see classes. Let's use desktop site for easy. Oh, what did I do? Let's use desktop site. Yeah, is it in desktop site? Yeah, it is. So you come here and click on one class. You see, you click on one class, it will open. Then you come here and look for more options, more actions, not options, sorry. Then you click on submit. Click on submit. Click on submit. Click on submit. Let's wait for it to load. It's loading. Then here you just come and use your first, maybe either any name. U T then T S. Then you just you can just guess or use your real things. Then you just come here. Choose from this computer. For a smartphone, in this case, the smartphone will be your computer. So you click on choose from this computer, come to files, come to files. You can use any here. Let's use a P, this name, Night SC. This didn't have a, anything. Let's use this guide. And then we click on upload. It's uploading. Let's wait for it to upload. Let's wait for it to upload. Then you just come here. You confirm the pages. This one have only one page. If it has two pages, three pages, you just will be clicking on this. Oh, it has two pages. You will be clicking on that until the last page. Until the last page. Until the last page. After the last page, you just come here and confirm come there and confirm then after that you come and click go to assignment inbox go to assignment inbox it's a bit rainy here so you bear with me this is our document the first one UTTS task it's not yet showing if it has any similarity similarity is now the plagiarism check what we do we just refresh so that it can update us so you can be able to to check for our document yeah the, here it is UTTS TH it has 2% similarity 2% similarity is that not bad you can be able to see other people's document 0% 1% 55% it's way too bad for 2% it's way too bad to make sure it is at least 5% and below if it's 5% and below that shows maybe the reference page it's the one that is bringing the similarity so it'll be good to go so you have seen that turning tin it's very easy to use too very easy that's how you use turning tin to be able to check plagiarism thank you guys thank you so much you have known how to check plagiarism now with that you are good to go Thank you guys for watching you have seen that this is pretty pretty easy it's way easy to use turning tin so what you do practice 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 and after you have practiced you will be able to work very comfortably without any issues if you know grammar turning tin apa and mla trust me you you are good to do with academic writing and if you have any question please feel free to reach me using my hand my social handles that's instagram and whatsapp i'll be able to assist you i'll be able to tell you what you need to polish on and but the most important thing is to believe in yourself 
practice practice and work extra hard to learn these tips when you are through you can hit me up so that i can try to link you up with jobs i also sell academic writing accounts i can be able to sell i can sell you a good writing account that will earn you pretty pretty well i can be able to help you get employers so that you can be able to earn well at home thank you guys for this thank you guys i hope now you can be able to comfortably use your smartphone to do academic writing very comfortably i know it's a little bit hectic but you are going to use that until you can be able to raise enough money to buy a laptop or a desktop so that you can do it very 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 easily thank you guys thank you for everything remember to subscribe and i also share laptops desktop and everything so if you need one please reach to me and then i'll be able to give you what you need thank you guys thank you thank you thank you guys until the next video until next time i love you so much bye bye and share my videos hit that subscribe button thank you guys so